What up, nerds? What up, nerds? Fucking nerds. Fucking nerds, am I right? We're fucking, back fucking. with the Nerd Make Roundtable with this week in nerddom. Enjoy. Enjoy the news. Because there's so much of so, it. We're fucking dying here. Uh, quick thing. We're just going to preface this a little bit. It's a little bit later than usual. Uh, apologies. But there is so much news this week. I mean, we have to jam pack it. And we did not want to go. Uh, we didn't want to take one day off. And then the next day be like, hey, something else huge happened. It's like, We're well, like, just shit. fucking come on, man. <laughs> so also uh, our apologies for uh, the this week in releases. Uh, it fell through the cracks with Persona 5 for all of you that were worried about that. It is coming out in April, very early April. It's going to be awesome, but they they delayed it for localization reasons, if I'm yeah. remembering correct. So Which. it's fine. It's coming out in April, and we're going to make... We're going to have to comment on that when it does come out in April with that week in releases. So, yeah, and be like, son of bitches. <laughs> Remember you, what we said last time? Remember what we said in February? Yeah, we were wrong. Sorry. Which <laughs> keep changing on me. We're going yeah. off official releases. They don't change that. Yeah. So uh, either way, it's uh, it's fine. Persona fans, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> I am one of you. Let's all calm down. <laughs> all right. All it's going to be I'll... fine. Yeah. <laughs> Take a chill pill. Eat a Twinkie. Suck on a popsicle. It's going to be fine. You're going to be fine. Dumb. Yeah. Don't kill Digi. <laughs> yeah, don't kill Digi. Digi did nothing. Did nothing wrong. Inherently. Just a little Just lack reported. of research. It's fine. <laughs> There's so much going on, I can't research. Or you could have just asked, Hey, TJ. <laughs> when are all these hey. games coming out? <laughs> when, is, uh, when is Persona coming out? Yo, give me a minute. I got you, fam. <laughs> so, uh, as always, uh, let's cut to the chase here. As always, we're going to go uh, through the various steps. Uh, we're going to talk movies, then TV, then comics, then games. Uh, now, starting with the topics uh, with along the lines of movies, uh, not a whole lot came out, but a lot of uh, behind-the-scenes fuckery yeah, has been going on. Um, Logan is starting off to great reviews uh, to early screenings. Uh, bravo. Uh, if this is as good as everyone is saying it is so far then congratulations Hugh Jackman uh, you know go on do other things you've earned it live your at this life point. You're free live your now. life you're, you're free of Wolverine at this point you're free so uh, be free young child <laughs> and let's let let's let x23 come in and take the reins and be new Wolverine yeah I, I said be, it I said it SJWs cool. I said it yeah. I want cool. a woman Wolverine. Give me woman Wolverine. <laughs> you know, X-23, which is already Wolverine in the comics? Give me her. Yeah. <laughs> so, give us the thing. Uh, yeah, give us the thing. Uh, that's going to happen, uh, though. Hopefully. I, I hope that happens. I don't want them to recast Wolverine. Just yeah, I, I don't think it'll the be the same. No. Uh, other than that in movies, though, uh, we have... Uh, un- there was the Avengers... Uh, Infinity War featurette, which confirmed Spider-Man uh, and the Guardians of the Galaxy will be in the movie. And since this is going to be a, like a two-parter Avengers thing, they have plenty of time to kind of make the characters know each other and have them work together as a team. Uh, yeah. They did explain also that Thanos is going to be a total badass, which get hype. <laughs> uh, that's my favorite yeah. villain. That for all of you listening, all of you within the sound of my voice, Thanos is the greatest Marvel villain ever. I don't care what you say. Come at me. I'm not a Marvel fan, so yeah. Yeah, come at me, brosives. <laughs> but um, what are you gonna say? Yeah, Crimson Dynamo is the best Marvel villain. Fuck you. No, he's not. I, <laughs> fucking- that's a low rent Iron Man villain. I, <laughs> So, uh, either way, uh, yeah, the Avengers looks like it's gonna be fine. Um, Team Thor has a new clip. Oh, God. <laughs> and that's just... It's so stupid. Uh, if you haven't seen those yet, <laughs> just go watch them. Uh, I'm not oh, gonna explain them. It's just it that, Thor doing funny shit. Is that that video of him with his roommate? Yep. Oh, God. Just watch them. It's Thor doing some funny shit. 
Uh, I know that this big purple man likes to sit on a chair. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, it's what Thanos does like to do. Good job. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> you're not wrong. Yeah, you're definitely not wrong. So, um, now, uh, other than that, we also have uh, some Justice League news. Now, this is uh, going to uh, hurt to say. Um, I love Batman. Digi loves Batman. Isn't that right, Digi? Yes. Yes, I do. I am the biggest fucking Batman nerd, and I will fight anyone that says they, they are. Because I am the nerd. <laughs> yeah. But we, um... We have sad news on the Batman take, and this is behind-the-scenes footage. Or not behind-the-scenes footage, but behind-the-scenes talks and stuff. You know, how uh, yeah. the director was supposed to be Matt Reeves, or they were ta in talks. Supposedly. He is yeah. out. He is walked out of the project. He's like, I want no, no part of this. Um, yeah. They made Ben Affleck step down as director. Yeah. And... Uh, now Ben Affleck no longer wants to be Batman. <laughs> supposedly again. Su Most supposedly again. Yeah, there are a lot of rumors still going on around that. Yes. And it's just like, oh my god. Dude. But Unless I would not I would not blame Ben Affleck if he did not want to be Batman right now. Yeah. I wouldn't blame him. It's a lot him. of pressure. Yeah, no, it's no, no pressure, it's not even that. Well, the I mean, it's not helping. Yeah, it's a lot of the it's a lot of pressure, but WB kicking him out of the role, uh, kind of rewriting the script he had had like pretty much damn finished. Like it's yeah. it's just a whole bunch of fuckery that didn't need to happen. Cuz yeah. Ben like Ben's already said in interviews or something. He's like I read, I did my research. I want to do what Batman fans want. Yeah. But essentially uh what that means <laughs> uh, at least this is not quoting him. It, essentially that means WB doesn't like what he's doing cuz it's giving the fans what they want. Yeah. Like like if you if you want to, if you want to get mad at WB and everything, go ahead. Yes, but I'm don't pissed piss at on WB. DC. No, DC's a uh, DC's fine. Their animated division is fucking nailing it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but WB, like for their live action extended universe, yeah, th plans they are fucking it in the ice. Uh, yeah. And that's mo and it's, some of it has to do with Batman v Superman. Actually, a lot of it yeah. does, because yeah. I, I explained this to you earlier, did you? When, yeah. when you... A spoiler warning, but if you haven't seen Batman v Superman at this point and you're a comic fan, fuck, fuck you. Off. Yeah. <laughs> you don't get to say spoilers! Uh, fucking, it's been a year. Yeah, really. But, get um, over it. Fucking, you kill Superman in the second movie of your extended universe. Unle well, unless you're counting. Movie. Here's my question. Man of Steel and Man of Steel 2. Technically, aren't those considered part of the DCU now? Or are they. Huh, Man of still Steel off 2. Of I, I could have sworn there was a Man of Steel 2, wasn't there? No. Hell no. I could have sworn there was. No, there was talks about it, and then they pushed it oh. way back because Batman v Superman had to happen. Hold on. I could have sworn there was a Man of Steel 2. Hold there on. is not. There was Man of Steel, then Batman v Superman. That's oh, it. No. Oh, okay. Do you I not remember the bit? Do you not remember the big battle sequence at the beginning of Batman v Superman? That's from Man of Steel I, one. I don't know. I don't fucking watch the Superman movies. Oh, God. I could care less about Superman. And you're a, D and you're a DC fan, and you could I don't fucking Superman. care for Superman. Okay. Well, anyway, the extended universe it goes like this: Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, and then we're gonna get Justice League. That's how it's going. Okay. And Superman, the death of Superman is one of the greatest, or not one of the greatest, it's one of the better story arcs in yeah. comics. Uh, and it's yeah. because you have this nigh indestructible hero dying. Mm -hmm. I mean, of course he got resurrected, dead but that's beside, that's beside the point. At that point, you were dead yeah. as hell. So, yeah, yeah. uh... So the fact that they immediately did that in the second extended universe movie, I was like shaking and had rage, like evaporating tears because I was so boiling with rage in the theater because how dare you like you take you, you have to wait like two just like after you beat dark side or before you beat dark side, even, um, uh, like if, 
like before you beat Darkseid or after, it doesn't matter. You make a Man of Steel movie, the whole thing is just him and Doomsday duking it out. Just like in the comics, everyone else has to deal with it from the sidelines. They're like, how do we even help Superman? This is getting violent. Yeah. That's pretty much the entire movie there. Oh, fuck, yeah, exactly. What's going on? That's that's the entire movie. Everyone's just watching from the sidelines like, what the hell is happening? How do we how do we help? And yeah, they and can't. Batman, yeah, and Batman's in the corner going, I am helpless and I am not pleased with it. Yeah. I mean, that, and that's the whole Death of Superman arc, really. Uh, yeah. So... Uh, if you would have done that right, you could have had the entire Justice League make a cameo and mourn Superman's death. And that would have been so impactful and so awesome. But no, we have Bruce Wayne and Diana just way in the background in black, just like, we need to assemble a team. It's like, yeah. really? We're going that route? <laughs> like, that, I, I, like yeah, that already but... pisses all over the extended universe to me. I, I, I still like it because, holy fuck, we're still we're finally getting DC movies. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> like true. besides animated ones. I mean, yes, we're getting DC movies, but, and you can say it's an adaptation. Chill out, bro. I will not chill out when I see Superman dead. I want to see every single one of the heroes that fought beside him, like all of them, like Flash, Cyborg, uh, Cyborg, all of them. Uh, just standing beside the grave as it's as it's being lowered, and just like a big mournful cry, like I want that to happen. And then yeah. another move, and then the next Justice League movie, they're trying to deal with the problem without Superman, which is fucking tough to do. Yeah. So, to me, it, it's just they blew their load way too early, and now we're gonna spend half of the first Justice League movie probably getting Superman back. So it's immediately undone, what they've done. So it just doesn't make sense. Now, that being said, Ben Affleck as Batman is good. Wonder Woman is good. Yes. And I have ho hope for the other characters. Henry Cavill is an okay Superman. You have to be bland to be Superman, let's be honest. Yeah, because uh, that's just basically what he is. He's very bland. He's very... Unless you're Christopher Reeves. Unless you're Christopher Reeves. I want all the children... To know that this America is an America they can be safe in. I'm like, God, Christopher Reeves, you have such charisma! <laughs> <laughs> look at you! You don't even look buff enough to be Superman, but I love you! Uh. So, uh, either way, uh, just to say, it looks like they released some uh, behind-the-scenes stuff uh, of Batman. It looks like it might be Parademons. I'm hoping it I, is. I'm not sure. It looks to me like they're just giant robots, but I yeah. don't really I mean, know exactly. We'll see. I mean, it's probably still being edited. Yeah. So, uh, I think the part I'm most looking forward to is all these little all these little pictures of the jump Batman's doing, like from the gargoyle. I seen a picture with him with gargoyle, anyways, but I and him just flying in that scene, that picture they really that they leaked recently. Oh yeah, fighting this whatever they are. I am so excited to see him as Batman again in that one because he like, just looks so fucking good just like in predator like straight predator mode just yeah i'm gonna take you out one by one because you mm -hmm. got guns holy so. shit that was that was my favorite scene in the batman versus superman movie besides the beginning scene where he's uh going through you mean just him beating the ever-living shit out of all those thugs yeah, well, yeah but this beginning scene uh where he's the same scene that you see in man of steel is it oh yeah 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 that scene, that was my favorite part. And then that later scene where he's destroying these bad guys, like, holding Martha captive, basically. And he just, like, busts through the fucking walls and <laughs> yanks them away into these other fucking rooms. And then he and stabs a dude. Yeah. And he like, just in the gut and, he comes and back. he's dead. Yeah. yeah. That's, That's one thing I'll never get over is Batman <laughs> killing people. But, um... God damn it. But that's just how it was written. That's not Ben Affleck's fault. Yeah. By the way, that um... Was, that was more, uh... What's his fucking name? That was a Snyder decision. You know it was. No. It, was, it wasn't entirely Snyder. They were basing it off of the Dark Knight Returns comic, where he's... Batman's all grizzled and everything, and the, I understand why some people don't like it, for it's pretty well, obvious reasons. I know the Dark Knight Returns, but... Yeah. That's more of, like, a mutant killing, and... Even then, he still didn't kill the Joker. The Joker killed himself by snapping his own neck. 
it was yeah. There's like, a lot of shit going Batman, on in that one. Yes, Batman snapped his neck to a point to where he's like, "Now don't move. You're paralyzed now." At, or you yeah. should be from like the neck down and Joker's just like well now everyone's gonna think you killed me and just finishes himself off yeah so like that point it's fine but yeah that when you're just like hey look at my Gatling gun on my Batmobile now you're dead it's like yeah. oh okay <laughs> that fucking that whole Dark Knight the Dark Knight Returns and everything comic book that shit is trippy as fuck to actually read it really is like, Cause it's it's so different from all the other comic books and what like in the art style and everything, which is good. Well, to because an Frank Miller just he knows how to do unique. Like I, I don't yeah. know how to explain it. Yeah, he's really good at just expanding and pushing the limits of what you can do. But his time codes concept. are also complicated as fuck. Yeah, so. it's, just, it's like it's a mess, but at the same time, it's like, but I want to keep. I want to keep reading. I'm so curious now. What the fuck's going on? Oh, yeah. It's so, like that hardcore Henry movie. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh. Nausea. So, uh, Shit. it was so sick and awesome, but it made it me was. feel kind of sick. Um, so Justice League looks like it's going to be, it looks like it's going to be fine. I'm not excited that they're just going to be like, hey, Superman, you're back. What a boy. That's going to, I'm going to be mad again because it's going to trigger memories of the doomsday fight and I just don't I, I don't need to relive that um shit yeah and I think that's kind of all for movies except for John Wick chapter 2 uh yeah. if you're listening to this go watch John Wick chapter 2 it's awesome so uh that's a, that's it for movies we're gonna go to TV uh powerless we seem to have Alan Tudyk wearing a Robin costume I don't know what that means. I'm not watching mm-hmm. Powerless. From what I've seen of it the last... Like, I haven't been able to watch the last two episodes just because time constraints and trying to record stuff at the same time. And right. normally when we try to record stuff, it's when Powerless is on. So I haven't been able to watch it exactly. Or it's hell on earth trying to get everyone on board. Yeah. So, uh... Yeah. But, yeah. So, Alan's dressed up as Robin... For this week's or last week's? It may have been last week's. I don't. I don't know. Yeah. Um. I know Legion is still doing well in the ratings, and I still refuse to watch it. Yeah. Like I just I don't care at this point, guys. <laughs> I, I I know a lot of people are just going to be like, TJ, you need to give Legion a shot. I'm not giving it any rope to hang me with. I'm gonna yeah. watch Logan, and that's gonna be like one of the the final X Men movies I watch. Unless they bring in Mr. Sinister in the next one, and I'm going to have to go watch it. So, <laughs> that's it. That's all I'm giving it. Uh, I'm not yeah. giving Legion a shot. I'm, I'm not going to. Uh, after what I've seen and like, the 800 Super Bowl commercials that were on, I was already tired of seeing the name. Yeah. Already tired of it. Yeah, it's understandable. Because there is a lot of hype over it. But I think it's too much hype to this point. It is. Where everyone's just going crazy. Yeah, everyone's like, just kind of joining that bandwagon type it's thing, and I'm not. Three episodes, maybe two. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, either way, there's, uh, that, there's, uh, for Flash. Yeah. So glad I get to talk <laughs> about Flash now. Um, I believe his name is Solivar. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I think so. But they're introducing uh, the apes. So we have Gorilla Grodd and we have Solivar, his nemesis, and they're going to clash. So that makes I mean, me happy. Yeah, I'm interested to actually see these episodes. These ones, the ones with the Gorilla Grood and Grodd. the crossover. Yeah, I don't know why I say Grood. <laughs> I, will, but, I will correct you every time you mispronounce Grodd. <laughs> yeah, but the one with him and the one with the music meister that's supposed to be coming up. Yeah. Oh God, it's gonna be so good. I um, have seen nothing but that since they start. They first announced it happening. And I've seen nothing about the Flash, but Gorilla, Glo- Gorilla Grodd, <laughs> and the Music Meister. And I actually want to see the Music Meister because I've seen so much of it. 
like so much press over going crazy over oh, yeah. two seconds. Just like the press is going crazy over Savitar or whatever his yeah. name is. The, yeah, whatever. That is. weird looking nineties speedster. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so uh either way Flash looks like it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be kicking off shit with a bang with Gorilla Grodd yeah. and Solivar, so let's fingers crossed that that's gonna stay awesome. Yeah. Supergirl and Flash have been doing really well lately, I think. Yeah, they really and have. Then Arrows not doing well. Oh, Arrow just keeps declining. and it's, Arrow fucked the, up really bad. The more they do, like, crossovers, they're just like, why aren't you just with them all the time, Green Arrow? And it's essentially yeah. him turning into Batman, just going, no, I can do it alone. Like, Yeah, he's he's not bat, he's not Batman material. He's really that's, not. He's, that's the, his whole thing, is he's He's Batman, but with just a bow and arrow. Like, that's his whole thing. He's Batman, but without the attitude issues, too. That is true. He's more He can crack a joke. Chap- yeah, he's more fun. He's like the happy Batman. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, also, in TV, uh, Samurai Jack. Oh, yes. We have a trailer for Samurai Jack. Uh, I'm not sure when that was released, but I just barely got to watch it. And uh, I went and binged all four seasons of Samurai Jack. Uh, yeah. After seeing that, even some at work. <laughs> I think everyone has. It's and crazy, it's getting. It so is going to be awesome. Now, yes. the fact that they have complete creative control and Adult Swim is heading it up. That means we don't have the restriction of it. You can't use blood. It's got to be oil or any of that, which uh, some people are worried that it's going to detract from the charm of the original stuff. Uh, I disagree. I think it's going to add more emotional weight. Yeah. Like uh, if he's and- killing actual blood bearing things then he might have like a thing like a conflict of in his mind of what does he do yeah. now so there's a lot yeah. more story options that kind of open up yeah, uh, with this type only thing. Con- yeah like what you said before about people being concerned about the whole blood thing my only concern is that it's going to turn into like if they do too much blood like if they do if you know how a, you know that uh, anime elven lied or something oh yeah elven lied yeah, where it's, it's my like favorite. complete overkill every two seconds. Oh, yeah, but only, like, you have, like, six episodes of, like, yeah, we're all friends. Mew, mew, mew. Yeah. We're all friends. And then all of a sudden, it's like someone gets decapitated, and there's just blood yeah. spewing everywhere. As long as they keep, it's like, they can keep the blood. I don't care if there's blood. But don't overdo it. I don't think it's going to be it's... overdone, per yeah. se, but I, I do have that worry. But I think there's going to be a spot where he's just like, I killed a, I killed a human. Like, yeah. I just killed a human, and there's blood everywhere. Um, and he's going to have yeah. to just, uh, he's going to realize that that doesn't matter. There's too many people around him. He's just got to, he's got to take what he can and just start cutting people down. Yeah. So, it, it's going to be interesting to see how that works. It'd be like now, a moral dilemma. Yeah. Oh, God, that'd be so nice. It um, would be. Now, as far as uh, TV concerned, that's that's it. Actually, yeah. except uh, I sh- I should admit, Costume Quest uh, is going to be getting a TV show. I have no idea what that is. Uh, it's a Tim Schafer game, okay. the guy who made Psychonauts. Okay. Uh, so Double Fine are making uh, are helping to make a Costume Quest game. Yeah. So. And then- or the show, there, sorry. I think there was a new Steven Universe episode, but uh, I'm not yeah. sure. There was also a new Clarence episode, and holy shit. Yeah. I, like, I, I, for the first time ever, I got to sit down and watch Clarence while I was babysitting, yeah. and then the new episode came out, and I was like, this is actually weird, but also funny. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, Spire and Anon want to do an animation podcast. I think at the end of the, towards like the end of the month. So there's that to look forward to. Yeah. Get ready, we'll nerds. Yeah, so we'll be talking a lot about Samurai Jack, Steven yeah. Universe. And then you got me, a simple yeah. voiceover guy, and I'm just going to be like, I'm going to stay over here. <laughs> We're going to be fucking you. We're going to be really nerding out if you want. Yeah, I'm going to stick over. I'm going to let, I'm just going to be over in the corner, you know, making my list of games and stuff and news that we need to talk about. So, yeah. um, and trying to get Wolf into these goddamn podcasts. Yeah. If you think we're nerding out about comics and all that, wait till we get to the animation. Oh, yeah. Because that is my strong suit. Which, even then, you guys don't even nerd out about comics. I do. <laughs> yeah. Because which, I don't, speaking, I don't read comics that often. Speaking of which, 
comic section. I'm excited. Uh, Venom has a new host, uh, for those of you who don't know. Uh, it's a brand new guy. Uh, we don't have Eddie Brock. We don't have Matt Gargan anymore. And, uh, and we don't even have Flash Thompson anymore. Oh, really? Uh, nope. It is a contract, like, mercenary killer. Uh, uh, I believe his name is, like, Lee, I believe his name is. Okay. Uh, so he's, he was hired by Black Cat to do a job, uh, with Scorpion. Now, Scorpion is Mac Gargan. He used to have the Venom symbiote. He was about to lay a final blow on a contract guy where he was just going to kill him. Yeah. And uh, the symbiote took over and said no killing. Uh, Because, you know, he's been bonded to Flash Thompson so long he's used to being a hero. Oh, okay. Okay. So, uh, of course, Scorpion kicks his ass. (laughs) <laughs> well, <laughs> well, because Scorpion knows uh, all about the uh, about the symbiote, he knows about it, so he has a sonic weapon now just okay. to, just to get away. He's just like, I'm out, fuck off. Okay. See, this is why you're good for your mate because you know all this Marvel stuff. I don't know anything about yeah. Marvel. <laughs> well, it's not even just that; it's just comics in general. I'm super, uh, I'm super excited when the when the interesting stuff pops up. That's where you get me. If it's just the same, it's like Civil War Two. Fucking get out of my face. <laughs> I, I read it and I'm still just like, just get it, get it away from me. Uh, Civil War Two, 20, 2017. I am not kidding. <laughs> Civil War Two is a comic that already happened, and it was okay. Captain Marvel versus Iron Man, which is kind of a, it's a fun concept, but Isn't the Captain reasons Marvel are uh, yes. Okay. Uh, so we Captain Marvel um, going up against Iron Man, and it just it didn't live up to hype. Uh, oh. Just kind of like how the new Secret Wars didn't live up to hype. Secret War? Uh, yeah, Secret Wars. It's look it up. You'll know what it is as soon as you hear the okay. name Beyonder. <laughs> you'll probably know from like the '90s Spider-Man cartoon. If you ever nope. watched that, then nope. you'll know. Okay, never mind then. Uh, <laughs> you freaking took me to the wrong person that one. Yeah. So uh, either way, it's it's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, so there's that in the comics. There is the Power Ranger comic. You all want to hear about me rant about the Power Rangers. Yes, uh, I do, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure you're not tired of hearing me talk about that. Jesus. <laughs> so uh, the Power Rangers comic is going on strong. It's doing very well. Um, they released uh, looks at the Tiger Zord and Falcon Zord. They are both going to be in um, in the comic. And uh, Lord Dracon is awesome. He is fucking sick. Uh, he is the main villain of this story arc. So, okay. uh, but like, they... I, the name sounds familiar, but I don't know who it is. Yeah, I'm not... I, I think I may have spoiled it last episode. I don't care, but I'm going to spoil it again. Uh, Lord Dracon is Tommy, the Green Ranger... Uh, oh. who has learned how to take over the world. Like it's in an alternate dimension oh, okay. where he takes over Dracon. like uh, an alternate in an alternate dimension where they basically, they beat the Rangers, him and Rita do. And then okay. he ends up being Supreme emperor of the world. But not only that, but he it's, it almost looks like he's learned how to bond the power of the green power coin and make the white power coin and just merge them and turn into the all-powerful thing that he is now. Okay. Like he's so powerful that they have they, their best Zords, like the Thunder Zords, they're just in the ground. Like they're just Jeez. like deteriorated and into the and, and in the ground. And I'm like, what the shit happened here? <laughs> Some shit went down. Some shit went down. So went down, uh, down. So there's that. There's uh, Justice League versus Power Rangers, which is gonna be awesome. Um, which I still need to read. And, uh, also the biggest one is a, uh, Flash Batman crossover. Oh, yeah. That uh, one I'm excited for. But with Watchmen. Yeah. So, uh, by the looks of it, it might be like a Flashpoint, Watchmen, Batman, Flash thing again. And I'm just like, yeah. what? <laughs> like, that's kind of a weird combo. Uh, yeah. but if I'm saying that, it... That means it might actually turn out pretty well. Uh, because they have two covers. One of Reverse Flash and one of 
Thomas Wayne, Batman. Yeah, yeah which is super interesting. I would yeah. like to see that. Because it's, like it's like they're almost teasing, like, it's going to be part of Flashpoint, and the Watchmen are a part of the Flashpoint universe. Like, it's... Like, that'd be kind of cool. So, uh, so we have that, and yeah, that's actually about it for comics, except for the fact that, um, uh, Valiant, Valiant Comics is going to be at Van's Warp Tour. Uh, so Bloodshot, Exo Man of War, uh, Ninjack, those guys. I-, I don't know why, uh, they're drawing those guys into Van's Warp Tour, but, you know. Each their own. To each their own, exactly. <laughs> Which coincidentally, Jason David Frank, the old Green Ranger, he's gonna be playing Bloodshot in a <laughs> Valiant in a Bloodshot versus the Valiant Universe movie. That's or I'm sorry, <laughs> Ninjack versus the Valiant Universe. Like a the guys who do uh superpower beatdown. <laughs> like with the really good costumes and like live action fights. Yeah. Like who would win? The Green Ranger or or Ryu from Street Fighter, like that type thing. Yeah, it looks like Ryu. Uh, yeah, no, Green Ranger wins that. <laughs> oh, shit, fucking. Yeah, actually, that's, uh... The Power Rangers don't get nearly enough credit for being as powerful as they are. All I know is they do what looks like martial arts, and they have a giant robot. That's all I know. I will calmly tell you to leave. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> either way. That's all, that's all I've ever seen of them doing freaking shit, t- jumping doing, around. Do, doing kung fu and then getting in a robot. Like, just fuck off. Freaking uh, Amy Gina, get in the robot. Speaking of giant robots, uh, this is back to movies. Sorry about this, but, uh, Pacific Rim 2. We did get our first look uh, at, uh, the, uh, the Jaegers. And that looks like it's going to be pretty fun. Oh, uh, yeah. I think uh, they- <laughs> Even Charlie Day, I think it was, it just went off. He's yeah. like, yo, this movie's going to be super fun. I can't yeah. wait. I'm like, yes. <laughs> and here's the part you're probably going to kill me on now that you said Pacific Rim. You didn't see Pacific Rim. Well, that and... Did you? <laughs> this is With your that... homework. You need to see Pacific Rim. I'm broke, bitch. No, no, one said you had, no one said you had to be broke. Find it online. I don't give a shit. Uh, you need to see Pacific Rim. Borrow it from a friend. I don't care. Just uh, <laughs> what friends? Go watch Pacific yeah, exactly. Rim. <laughs> but back to what I was saying. Uh, they also have Sharknado. I think five Go coming out soon. Go fucking kill yourself, Jesus Christ! <laughs> just off yourself. If you're waiting for Sharknado five, like patiently, do us all a favor and off yourself, please. Uh, um, that fucking killed me when I heard that. I was like. Why are they still making these films? Because it's sci-fi. Beat it to the it's ground. Not sci-fi. Or oh, I'm sci-fi. sorry, it's, it's not si- in space. It's, it's Siffy. Sh- sharks and tornado. It's Siffy. S Y F Y. Siffy. Siffy. So um, let's. Say you. And now that we're done with this, let's talk games. And the very Yay. first topic we're gonna have. Well, let's just get it out of the way. Pootie pie. Oh God. Let's get it out of the way. Um, and some people are going to be like, you're just you're just talking about this to make money off of his name. Uh, fuck you. We're not even partnering. We're not, we we're not even money. partnering. Yeah, we're not even monetizing, so you go yeah, fuck yourself. We can't. Yeah. Have you seen any ads on our videos? No. We're broke. <laughs> we're all broken. Yeah, we're doing, we're doing this because we love you, not because we want money. <laughs> yeah. So, for, uh, for Poods, uh, it was not a good time. Um... No, for the, for those all. of you who don't know, uh, there was a racist comment uh, put on a, I believe it was like a picket sign type thing, and people had to yeah. walk around, but it was because PewDiePie donated so much money to them, and he was allowed to put on that sign whatever he wanted. Yeah, it was, and, the site that he went to he was Fiverr, which I yeah. could go on a whole goddamn rant about Fiverr, and not a good one, a very fucking anger fueled one with fire yeah. to begin with. But he all but the fact that he went with the kill all Jews like stance. Comment. Yeah. Like I understand you were trying to make, you know, satire and you know, you've done these jokes before. But the timing now Yeah, not is, good timing at all. Yeah. Especially now we have an Oompa Loompa. 
and a yeah. fucking white supremacist as our president. We have a che- we have a Cheeto stained cock stain, a, che- yeah. a Cheeto stained cock stain. There are yeah. two stains. He's two different types of stains. That's how much of shit he is. Yeah. Uh, but with this type of uh, thing, it was just really, really poor timing. Uh, yeah. It's still wrong that he made people use a picket sign. I don't want to give the impression that it's, it's it's just up to bad timing. No, it's a fucking wrong thing that he did. Yeah, and these people didn't know what they were writing down. They just wrote it down because they can't speak English to begin yeah. with. And not only did they get in trouble with Fiverr and kicked off of Fiverr, so now they have no extra income or whatever. Yeah, so thank you, Poods. Yeah. Uh, but now, and, but now PewDiePie it, has been his YouTube Red show has been canceled completely. Disney dropped him. YouTube dropped him more than just the show. But no, um, it was just the show, if I remember oh, right. Okay. Uh, like he still has his channel. I mean, that's okay. that's a well, ton obviously. of YouTube watches a day. Uh, yeah. So, uh, but the Red show, there's like, nope, no more show for you. Yeah. Uh, and Disney just like straight up were like, yeah, we're not partnering with you anymore. The, the irony, but still. Yeah, I know. But uh, yeah, I know the irony with the Jewish thing. And he yeah. uh, he responded to it in a video, and I don't care. I um, uh-huh. My standpoint on this whole thing is poor timing, still fucking anti-Semitic. Like yeah. in the days, uh, like we're going back to the days of Mel Gibson saying Jews are responsible for most of the world's problems. Like we can't. We can't have we that. We can't do that. Yeah. Uh, we well. also have the thought that, or I have the thought that where I have no sympathy for PewDiePie. Yeah. And he's like, I just feel so bad or whatever. It's like, okay, yes, you can feel bad. And you can feel bad about your show getting canned. You can feel sh- uh, bad about Disney dropping you. You already have like tens of millions of dollars. Yeah. And I if hate you, you. If you don't, if you don't, if you spent all that money, then... You need to reevaluate things, but yeah, which I'm not saying he did or anything, but uh, yeah, I'm I just know. saying uh, like if you've ma- if you've already made your bones that much in this world, uh, just by doing what he does, which yeah. you have to work really fucking hard to do. I'm not gonna lie, yeah. it's like three videos yeah. a day. That's fucking yeah. dedication. Yeah, I mean we do this once a week and it feels like a chore sometimes. Yeah, sometimes uh, yeah. But. When you make that much money, like let me let me guys let me put this into a perspective for you guys. With one million dollars, I can pay off all my student loans. I can pay off my house. I could pay off uh, my car. Pay off pretty much anything else I want. Uh, I wanted uh, for a normal life. Okay. Yeah, and then you would still have a shit ton of money left. And out. I would still have around four hundred, uh, like five hundred grand. Yeah. Like that's that's Insane. awesome. Yeah. Uh, this dude has tens upon tens of millions, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, he's living the good life. Yeah, and he, he's he's aware of that to the point. But... Yeah, and he's and he has been kind of contrite about it, so good for him. Yeah, uh, yeah. because Lord knows I I might not be, but <laughs> that whole controversy is like, if you're sad about it, I'm sorry. If you're mad about it, be mad, I guess. Me. I have no sympathy for the guy. If he got his stuff canned, he still has his channel, which is where he was to begin with. Yeah. And he was still making bank. So. Yeah. My my whole stance on the, the whole PewDiePie thing is, yeah, I understand why he did it. The satire joke and all that. How he's kind of making fun of everyone for being sensitive. But it came and- at the expense of the other people getting kicked off Fiverr. Like, that's not. Yeah. You it gotta not, know your bounds. Not- it's not just that. It was that he put it out there. He didn't blur the the whole kill the juice thing out. He knew that that wasn't that was gonna be a sensitive thing. You could tell in his face when he reacted to it when they actually did it. He knew, oh shit, that can't believe they actually did it. That's not good. I probably would have ed- I probably should have edited that out. <laughs> He should. He didn't have to edit it out, but he could have blurred it out. Yeah, I know. He but could edit, have blurred he, it that's out. That's what I mean by edit it out. But yeah, that kills me. Is that he didn't? One, he didn't blur it out. Like it would have been fine if you blurred it. Out. You wouldn't be having all this trouble in. But you, you wouldn't didn't have blur as much. it out. Yeah, you didn't blur it out to begin with. But even and, then, the internet's smart. They're gonna find out what what was actually said. I know, but it's, it's again the fallout and all this wouldn't be as much or as quick ha- uh, happening as quickly if he had blurred it out right and then on top of that then he wait 
he, he got these guys in trouble. And he knew it was wrong. He knew that they probably didn't know that they were, what they were putting down on the sign. But he did it anyways. He didn't blur it out. And then he's getting upset at the media for blowing this up, though. It's That's like, what no, kills me. You can't be mad at that because you were a shit. Yeah, the media is doing their job. They're reporting what you did. If yeah. you attack them, they're going to report you attacking they're them. Kind of a that ro- what they do. I mean, you are kind of a role model, or not even a role model, but a lot of people watch you. Like and if you have like, tw- yeah, if you have like 25 million subscribers or whatever ridiculous number it was. Yeah. You need. You have a, a responsibility. I understand you might not want that responsibility, but t- too bad. Yeah. Do you have it? And maybe you were just trying to go, uh, like, to uh, drop down on your responsibility a bit by doing this, but still. It is just, it really just bothers me that he didn't blur it out. It was like, you could blur it out and avoid a lot of this, but you didn't. That's our first t-shirt. Blur it out, though. But, (laughs) and then I know it it sounds like censorship, but to, to an extent, it's, it is and it's not. There is a difference between true censorship where you don't want anyone to see anything. Blurring it out isn't complete censorship. It's not like I'm blacking it out or anything, but it's just, someone could find it. If they, someone could find it out, like you said earlier. If right. they really wanted to, someone could find it out. And he would, if the fallout wouldn't have been that bad, if he didn't, if he had blurred it out, it would have been like him trying to say, okay, this is really bad. You shouldn't actually see this. I can't believe they actually did this. But if he blurred it out, then not only would the people at Fiverr, those people at Fiverr, be okay still, but he'd be okay f- at least for a little while longer. Yeah, at least and, for a while. Yeah, it's just the so, fact that he's getting so uppity again against the media right now. Yeah, let's just uh, let's get off this because uh, <laughs> it's getting kind of depressing. Uh, yeah. Other than that, there was something else that happened this week, wasn't there? That was pretty. Big. Oh yeah, Steam. Yeah. So Steam um, Direct the biggest point of discussion uh, is Steam Direct, and yeah. Steam Greenlight is going to die. Finally, it's going to die. <laughs> uh, it's been a long time coming, because yeah. uh, you have occasional good things that slip through the cracks, and a lot of shit come down the pipeline, like eighty percent shit, twenty like fifteen percent meh, four percent. Yeah. Okay, and one percent awesome. Like that was yeah. that was the amount of Steam Greenlight games. Uh, ironically, one of those being Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think it was like two and three, or, or two, three, and four may have been on there. I don't. I'm not sure. Um, but Central locations f- number five, I think. Yes. Yes, it is. It. And yeah. he just released that one straight up. Yeah. So. Uh, either way. Um, What's going to ha- be happening, for those of you who don't know, uh, Steam Greenlight is, like I said, it's dying, and it's being replaced with something called uh, Steam Direct. Now, with Steam Greenlight, what would have happened is uh, you pay $100 to Steam. and <laughs> Steam. Or to Valve. Tell them. Uh, something the along those lines. And uh, you have your permission to pu- uh, you have their permission to publish a game. Yeah. On That's, their website. Yeah. Uh, you have a permission to publish. But you have to get upvoted uh, a certain amount, like a certain number or a certain ratio. Yeah. And then your game is on Steam. It's available for purchase. Yeah, it's, it's like you had to jump through a few more hoops than what, before, what we had to do before. And there's less chance of the people, like you said earlier before this, of people bribing the yes. gamers to upload them. So with uh, with the whole voting system, it is shit because, uh, as did you just said, uh, essentially what people would do is uh, just like YOLO army, come at me. Uh, <laughs> YOLO. They, I would say, give this game an upvote and we'll give you a Steam key for like Batman Arkham City or, you know, like the game of the year edition or something along those yeah. lines. And uh, if you upvote that or share it with your friends, you get uh, a game code. And that's insanity to me. Uh, That's like you're bribing people to upvote a game that may not be very fucking good. Like quality is thrown out the window because you're giving someone free shit. Yeah, I never really used Steam Greenland or looked it it up that much. It was a cesspool. 
Yeah, uh, <laughs> I didn't really know until you started tell until you explained it earlier, and then I was like, oh, okay. And uh, I think it was like some ridiculous number, like forty six percent of Steam's library came in in twenty sixteen. Like, yeah. It came from Greenlight. <laughs> like a lot of that <laughs> came from Greenlight, and I'm like, yeah, that's not good. Because uh, yeah. a lot of people are scumbags, and they will just asset flip, like, the basic game that comes with the Unity engine or Unreal engine or whatever, whatever it be. They'll just call it something different, put it on Steam yeah. Greenlight, get it upvoted, and then just pay the $100. And when it hits its mark, they'll just make their money back. Yeah. I, saw, I think I saw something, like, what you just described. Like, you know how Undertale fans, they make these fan games, but they're using... They're using the actual, straight up sprites. Uh, they're stealing the sprites. They're no, they're like straight up getting the game and flipping it like you said. Oh fuck! And hell. just turning it into different stories. Like they're still fan games in a way, but they just straight up bought the game, took the assets, and just reused them. And are tr- there are some, there's some of the, there's some there's some that are f- f- like f- free games basically. Yeah, I mean, if it's on purely... Game Jolt, it's fine. Yeah. Like, if it's yeah. free, you don't have to pay anything, cool. Yeah. If you're putting it on Steam and trying to make a quick buck, fuck you. Uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to say. That's, like, the most tense fuck you I can give. Yeah, if you're, if you're just selling it anywhere, fuck off. Yeah, seriously. Like, what's wrong with you? Don't asset flip. Do your own hard work. Make your bones. Don't let someone else go ahead and make something for you to make a quick buck, unless you are a fucking scumbag. If you're okay with being a scumbag, go on ahead. Ain't no one stopping you, fam. But Except my opinion, you suck. And the law can step in if you're asset flipping because that's kind of infringement. So, just throwing that out the, there. Yeah, the, but, the, the, the thing I saw was... It looked like if... A, what was his name? Toby. Mc, Toby. If Toby yeah. found it, he could very well sue them because it was... Well, was it free there, or was it on Steam? It was, it was, uh, it was for sale. I, I, I don't remember. I don't remember if it was, oh, like, it was on Game s- Joe. It was for sale. It, oh, fuck. Yeah. It was, they were trying to sell it off as okay, yeah. something. He, I was like, yeah, he, could he should get in touch with his legal team. Yeah. Uh, which, by the, which, by the way, Undertale fan base, I don't care what you say, you're, you're the most toxic group of anyone. So, yeah. Jesus. Um, the game's good. The, the game is good. You guys suck. <laughs> Yeah, the the game is good. The game is really good. If you like, yeah. it. if you like it, it's if really If you like the game, good. it's fine. But if you were like battling uh, with people saying that no other game compares or yeah. like, under te- like that that new oh, god, what was it? It's like Neo sucks compared to Undertale. Does it? Because they're completely different games. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's just <laughs> uh, it, yeah. good is subjective. So yeah. fuck off. But Steam Direct, anyway, back on topic, just yeah. bring the story back, <laughs> boop, yep. uh, Steam Direct is uh, meant to kind of eliminate that bullshit. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, essentially what it sounds like is you're going to have to fill out paperwork, uh, apropos to, like, taxes and or, bank account or forms. Or bank, yeah. yeah. Uh, you will pay a recoupable fee, which some people have gotten rumored it's going to be, like, a ridiculous number, like $5,000, which is dumb. Uh, it, it's going to be a recoupable fee. I'm thinking it's going to be more around the 500 to 1,000 mark. Kind of like putting down a uh, a deposit on an apartment, like a safety deposit. Um, and then you'll pay a fee for each game you want to publish afterwards. Now, yeah. having to go through this rigmarole of contracts and paperwork uh, to prove you're a legitimate business or a legitimate developer trying to release something, uh, yeah. having to... Uh, adhere to a deadline, probably, of when you're going to release something. Uh, and if you have to push it back, like, a few months, giving a good enough reason. Uh, that's what I'm, I'm hoping it's like. Paying that recoupable yeah. fee, or your security deposit, again, and then paying that fee, uh, another fee on top of that to release each game you want, it's going to stop people from doing, like, three different asset flips at a time and being a yeah. shit. Yeah. Like, that's, that's it. So, I think it's going to be a good thing only if it, the recoupable fee is like 500 to to $1,000. Yeah, if it's more than 1000 I I have that, like I told you earlier, I have that fear that it's going to be 
doing more harm to the de- developer community than it is going to be go- doing good yeah. for them. Which even even then, if it um, if you don't have that much money and you were kind of banking on Steam Greenlight, you were not going to get your stuff upvoted, man. It's not. It was not going to happen. There was so much shit in the bowels of everything that you were just not. If you only had a hundred dollars and that was your like your plan, you, I'm sorry, your game was not going to be noticed. It, it wasn't. There was no. There's no chance in hell. So. Uh, with this, I think a lot more people will will go to crowd uh, crowdsourcing like Kickstarter, where you need a trailer, you need a deliverable to show people that you're serious about this. You can yeah. get the money and then get it on, and then basically go through Steam Direct and get it on Steam immediately. Like if yeah. you do all this and you prove that you're legitimate and you have the Kickstarter and all this proof that you have this stuff ready and you've gotten all the funding you need, you just need somewhere to put it, Steam will help you. That is what I want. That's exactly what I want. But I don't want it to be so expensive to where the little guys with with still a deliverable, they have a good bit of stuff to show. I don't want it to be too expensive to where they can't release their thing. So that's that's what I've feared too. Yeah. So maybe the price fluctuates based off of single person and company. Yeah, if you're we'll like see. a big company, like something the size of EA or some shit. Oh no no no! You you got to calm the fuck you. down. <laughs> you need yeah. to calm the fuck down. But if you're this. like a ti- like, if you're a tiny indie stu- studio, like say me, you, Wolf, and uh, Steve, yeah. we're making a game. I'm Deving, uh, Steve, and Wolf are voice actors, and you're being and you're the uh, artist. Yeah. Like. That's just four people, and we all pulled our money to go to Steam and say, here's a tiny deliverable, what can we do? And they say, all right, program a little more, we're going to keep your deposit though, finish the game, we're going to get it on Steam for you. Boom, that's what I want. That's the mentality yeah. I want. Yeah. Uh, it's going to it's gonna it, like produce, the, I think it's going to produce like this camaraderie among developers to want that want to work together trying to make their own community uh, of people who just want to get their games made uh, instead of these fucking shit birds who are just like I'm gonna take that um, that thing that I downloaded uh, package it up and throw it on Steam and try to make money yeah so I think it's gonna do a lot more good than it's gonna do harm yeah hopefully uh, we did a poll actually on the Nerdbag, uh Twitter when that when the news was first announced and from what I recall, I'll take a picture of this. Like, I'll screenshot the poll results right now. But I believe a lot of people were kind of half and half on it. But then, at the beginning at least. And yeah. then at the end, a lot of people voted for against it. Like, it would hurt the community. So, I hopefully... I wholeheartedly disagree. We gotta take this in stride. Yeah. Uh, like, and the rumor is, like, the $5,000 amount. Like, yes, that's crazy. And even if it does end up being that... I still think it's going to do more 5, good. Oh, yeah. Did I you say mean 5000? 5, yeah. No, 5, I, I think you said I think you said 500. Okay, sorry. Well, if it's still fi- if it's 5000 like that crazy number. Yeah, yes, that might much. do a little bit more harm than good, but it's still going to yeah. be doing a lot more good than harm based off of the shit that we've been getting through Greenlight. Yeah. I So just throwing that out there. You guys can hate <laughs> me for that, you can love me for that. I don't care. This is my opinion. We are we are losing what made Steam great in the first place. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Steam Direct is a place to keep... Steam was a place for developers, by developers. Yeah. Developers wanted to get their games on. Cool. Yep. Now, and then gamers got to play games. And then and now gamers, who just know how the system works, were trying to abuse it to make a quick buck, where developers, actual developers, were uh, becoming shit out of luck. Uh, yeah, the guys basically. who took their hard-earned time and spent maybe a year and a half, two years on honing their craft on a game, they're just ignored. Yeah. Because uh, you, because your shitty meme games clogged up the line and no one got to see this kind of gem in the corner. So, uh, either way, that's my that's our opinion on Steam Direct. Yeah. Uh, uh, if it's too expensive, it's going to do harm. If it's yeah. a little bit less, it's going to do way more good. Yeah. But either way, it's a better alternative than Greenlight. Yeah. Um, Moving on for that. Yeah. um, uh, So Path of Exile. (laughs) Speaking of uh, of games on Steam, uh, Path of Exile is uh, getting a... uh, It's getting a new expansion this summer. 
It's going to be a, uh, since it's a Diablo-esque game, uh, they're going to have their biggest expansion yet. They're adding a new act to the game. Uh, it's going to be, it's going to be sick. What do you uh, mean so, by new act? Like, new act? Do you mean, like... Uh, so, it says, uh, according to this, after the events of uh, this new section, you're not expected to grind through the previous acts over and over again to reach the end uh, game. Okay. Instead, you play through five new acts that add new enemies and loot to familiar territories changed by the events that transpire. Uh, so, okay, you get new areas. So. Okay. Uh, it's, their basic, it's their biggest expansion. These guys have never let us down uh, at Path of Exile. If you don't like Diablo 3 or you felt like Diablo 3 was disappointing, go check out Path of Exile. It's awesome. So, uh, Prey had an, uh, showed their opening hour off. Okay. And holy God. <laughs> was it good or was it bad? Uh, it, it was good. <laughs> I'm super excited uh, for Prey. Now, for... For those of you who don't know what Prey is, I was expecting Prey 2 to happen, but that was canceled long ago. Okay, uh, okay. I just stopped hoping. Uh, originally, Prey was a you were a Native American man uh, who got sucked through like alien abduction uh, with your grandfather and your and your and your girl. All right, and you're trying to fight through the alien ship to get them back. That is the story. But okay. with really, uh, it's made by 3D Realms, <laughs> so <laughs> they know their shit about first-person shooters, and it had some of the most mind-fucky, like first-person puzzles ever. Like this was Portal before Portal was like oh, really, wow. really, really mainstream. Yeah. <laughs> All right, like it fucked with people's minds. I prayed it. Okay. And speaking okay. of it now, I may just go buy a copy of it. <laughs> for PC, that way I can show my wife just like, do you see how fucking rad this is? So, look at this shit! <laughs> look at this shit! So, look at this that bendy said, shit! <laughs> look at this, look at this multi-reality shit! It's blowing my and mind! And since you're Native American, <laughs> and since you're Native American, you get to go on like this little spiritual journey as well. Ooh, so yay. it's kind of, it's got really cool elements. Um, is it trippy? It's very trippy. Oh so, god. So, uh, <laughs> If you were to smoke weed or do acid during it, don't do drugs, kids. But if you were to, this that game would be like, you'd, you'd feel like you're in purgatory. I'm pretty sure. You can do weed in certain states. Yeah. If you, Hey, if you're in Denver, right? Uh, Pray with weed. California. Eh? 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 Got your but, shit um, going. Yeah, you, y'all know what's fucking going on. So, um, <laughs> either way, uh, Prey looks awesome. It looks promising. Uh, the the reboot of the franchise. Um, I'm I'm super excited about it. Uh, it's yeah. made by Arcane. So, the guys who did Dishonored are doing this. And they've already proven they can really vary up gameplay. Yeah. I, seen it tr- I, see, I saw it trending on Twitter the other day. Yeah, it's... So oh, a lot God, of people are excited gonna... about it. A lot of people are excited for Prey, and my, myself especially, because after the yeah. first Prey, they they did a trailer for Prey 2. If you haven't seen the trailer for Prey 2, uh, you know what? Uh, future editor, just put a little annotation or something right here. Just Prey 2 link, or, or Prey 2 trailer link. That was going to be what Prey 2 looked like. Uh, oh. It's okay. You can pause the, You can pause this. Go watch that trailer. It's fucking Go rad. It. Um, unfortunately, that game was canceled, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, and then we were sad. Yes, and then we were sad, and now we're getting an actual um, first-person shooter again with Prey. So just be be happy that we're even getting something Prey-related. And hopefully so. they'll cancel it too. Oh no! They, oh no, they can. It's already got a release date. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Sometimes. You yeah, never sometimes know. you never know. You know, like scale bound. Uh, yeah. Fuck that hurt. But um, <laughs> so um, PlayStation now is dropping their support for PS3 uh, and Vita. Yeah. Um, so side. August Go 15th, ahead. uh, all of the, uh, the devices will lose PS now support and only PS4 and PC will be compatible. Yeah. So uh, that's, the bright- that's fine. Yeah. yeah. And uh, more brighter news. Crash Bandicoot's coming out. Oh, we finally got yeah. its release date. Get hyped, I'm son! So June 30th! 
Oh, boom, yes. boom, bang, bang. Yo. Ah, ah. Yeah, but, I told I, I think I told you this earlier before we started recording. Oh yeah. But as soon as they announced that I went, we went to, we went down the mall for some other and reasons. And tried to add, that, hey, are you taking pre-orders? <laughs> I I did. I went over there. I was like, hey, are you taking pre-orders? And they're like, yeah, we're yeah, we're taking pre-orders. I was like, okay, how, no uh, pre-orders though. I that was gonna I was gonna pre-order it. First rule, went, no pre-orders. <laughs> What happened was I wasn't sure if I, I like at the time at the time right, right like right now I don't have any money, so I was like, oh right. okay, now I know that they're gonna take pre-orders up until then, and then they and then the lady at the counter said, yeah, if you put five dollars down now, you can just pre-order it now, and I was like, done, done, give me five, <laughs> yeah, I got five dollars, go, here's five dollars, give me a high five, boom, crash is back, baby, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was like, oh. So uh, I'm I... worried about Insane Trilogy, though. So I'm, I'm going to bring down your optimism for a second. Sorry. You can't. Good luck uh, trying. It's Activision. I, I went I on a long shit spew of Activision last week, if you'll remember. I do not like their company. So uh, if this comes out buggy as hell and they do not patch it, bad Activision. I think... The fact that it's everyone's so hyped about it and everything, I think they don't have a choice to fuck it up. They have to get it right. Oh no, pe- that, that, that won't stop them. People were hyped up about Call of Duty Four Remastered, and they held that one to ransom. That's Call of Duty. No, don't. Call of Duty Four, Modern Warfare, the very first one, and Modern Warfare Two are super good games. Like I will not. <sighs> I am not. I have never been big on their multiplayer. But the actual story campaigns are super fucking well done. I don't, think I've ever kn- I don't think I've ever known anyone that, besides you now, that has ever played the singer player campaign. I know. I'm one of the minority. <laughs> but Modern Warfare 1 and 2 are super, super good Call of Duty, like, single player games. That's how the campaign is supposed to be. It's supposed to be that good. Um, but Modern Warfare remastered was held at ransom so people would buy infinite warfare so if shady business practices aside it's releasing at 40 dollars and if it's buggy as hell and you blame the 40 dollar price stamp i'm coming after you activision in our next podcast you wait yeah i i will come after you just wait crash bandicoot is one of the few things i have looked for i have to look forward to this year besides wonder woman and justice league do not fuck right. with me, Activision. Do not fuck with Crash Bandicoot. So, I will uh, fucking murder you. I'm already. St- I'm still pissed about the Megman yeah. thing. Oh yeah, which you should. I be. will. Wow, never. this is. We are going on longer than I expected. <laughs> Holy yeah. shit! <laughs> so uh, we'll we'll try to wrap this up. So uh, Final Fantasy 15. Uh, Noctis is wearing a cup noodle hat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that so was weird as fuck. Japanese players are gonna get some uh, some cup noodle themed DLC, which is fun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm sure they're dying for that. <laughs> Dawn of War 3, uh, Warhammer 40k Dawn of War 3, has uh, got a new trailer. Uh, check it out if you're a Warhammer fan, but if you are, you've probably already seen it. Um, new footage for uh, Rare's uh, Sea of Thieves came out. It looks yeah. super fun. I can't yeah, wait. It, yeah. it, it looks it, like they're it, allowing it, Rare to actually do what they do best, and that's just to have fun. Yeah. <laughs> so, good. Uh, ukulele is coming out soon. Oh, uh, yeah. Can't wait, by the way. Uh, yes. Get hyped. I am already hyped. <laughs> uh, but getting off the hype train, just just going to no. derail it real quick. Uh, Payday 3. You're killing me. I will. Uh, Payday 3 is in development, uh, according to Starberries. Don't expect it anytime soon. Uh, and I've learned we're getting three Danganronpa games this year. Oh, okay. Uh, we're getting Danganronpa 3, Killing Harmony. Uh, on September 26th. Mark down the calendar. How many games do they plan to pump out of that? Uh, Ultra Despair Girls, which is a spinoff title that was uh, in, uh, it was released on Vita in 2015. Uh, will be available on PS4 on June 27th. And they are uh, remaking uh, 1 and 2, uh, Danganronpa 1 and 2, uh, for PS4. They're remastering it uh, on March 14th. So uh, mark your calendars, boys and girls. We got March 14th. June 27th, then September. So we have a Danganronpa 1 and 2. You get to play through, learn the story. Then you get to play the spinoff for a little bit more, uh, for a little bit of extra content or context. And then you get 
Danganronpa 3 uh, <laughs> later in the year. So the complete saga. So just get nice. ready. Uh, also, nice. uh, I think... W- oh, no, I, I gotta mention this. So uh, I'm gonna send you this uh, link, future editor, and uh, you can get these tweeted images, but Final Fantasy VII Remake uh, and Kingdom Hearts 3 have some new images that were teased. Uh, yeah. And holy shit, uh, Final <laughs> Fantasy VII Remake is totally, it is just, yes. it's in the 15 engine and it looks amazing. Uh, <laughs> There's no way you can go wrong with Final Fantasy 15. No. With 15? Seven. Yeah, 7. No, no there 15. is. No, there is. There's definitely ways you can go wrong with it. I will fucking murder like, them if they fuck it up Like somehow. Dirge of Cerberus. Like, that's how you can go wrong. Uh, I will murder them. <laughs> but, uh, no, 7 looks really fun. It's not going to be turn-based combat. It's going to be real-time action. Uh, so that's what I'm excited about, because I really like that. Uh, it, looks like, it looks like they have, actually have boss health bars. Oh, that'd be nice. <laughs> uh, which is nice, because Final Fantasy XV doesn't... Not? Not exactly. Um, so just just keep hitting it until it dies, though. Yeah, basically. Um, but it wasn't like it was visible, but not in a way super not super visible. visible. Uh, so uh, Kingdom Hearts three though, uh, the f- screenshot that was released, uh, Tatsuya Nomura released all of these images uh, at Magic Monaco. So yeah. good for him. Uh, but it, by the picture, if you look at it uh, on the screen, or if you just look at the tweets, um, dry, uh, drive forms are back. And Ooh. I had to explain what those are to Digi uh, <laughs> earlier, so now he yeah. understands. Yeah. Um, but Kingdom Hearts fans rejoice uh, because it looks Enjoy. like we're getting uh, it looks like we're getting Master Form back for uh, the drive forms, and that was one of my favorite ones to use. So uh, everyone just get hype. Uh, these. Uh, Square Enix is going to completely just blow shit out of the water next year. Uh, yeah. He's uh, Tetsuya Nomura did say that he's uh, hoping to show both of his projects off in 2017 at some point later this year, um, yeah. and especially since it's the this year is the the 30 year anniversary um, of Final Fantasy. I'm expecting really great things. So yeah. Uh, other Get than hyped. that, that's that's all the news. So wow, whew, that was a lot. Yeah, yeah. There's, was it good there's for still you? more we could. <laughs> I don't know. Was it good for you? Yeah, there's a there's lot more. We, there's still a lot yeah. more that we are missing. So please, God, if we missed anything, throw it in the comments below. Uh, we can make an addendum next week to it um, to for all the yeah. shit that we missed uh, and that's... apologize for missing it. Yeah, uh, the toy fair. 2017 is going on right, like literally right now as oh, we're Jesus. talking. Jesus Christ! So there's so, gonna be a shit ton of stuff coming out then. Yeah. But um, either way, um, so that's it for this week. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow. Uh, sorry we went on a little bit longer uh, this week, but that's what happens when there's so much news. Uh, yeah. Again, if we missed anything, uh, hit it up in the comments below. Uh, if you like this, uh, give us a like. Hit that subscribe button. Help us grow click a little it. bit. Just click it. Smack though. it. Click smack it. it. Smack it real mm, good. Baby, click smack it. it like a bitch. Yes. Well, don't smack it like a bitch. That that would mean that you were probably jolting too hard and you're going to hit dislike. We don't want that. So, no. <laughs> so uh, smack if you it like, gently like a bitch. <laughs> but again, uh, if you want to if you want to help us grow, hit that like. Especially hit that subscribe button. Also hit the little bell if you want to know every single update we ever do. Uh, Which is at least three times a week at least yes at least uh so uh if you also want to uh check out me and wolf play some castle crashers that video is now up uh you can watch me yeah. trying to uh get teach some wolf uh, teach wolf how to eat his broccoli yeah. so <laughs> uh again uh i'm tj i'm digi and if you want to follow us uh our twitters are going to be in the description below uh, with twitter.com slash nerdmake and facebook.com slash nerdmake. Uh, and can, so on and so on. So on and so forth. Uh, that's it for this week. We love you. Nerd on. Deuces, fam! Bye! <laughs>